easily a 15-block perimeter, a 15-block area of downtown Boston has been virtually shut down to all civilians, certainly all pedestrian traffic. The subway system has been stopped. For a time, all transportation in and out of the city was stopped. So far, no reason to think a threat exists anywhere else but on Boston Street in Boston, Massachusetts this afternoon. Earlier reports of a subsequent bombing at the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library are being knocked down. Uh, but for now, we are in the midst of a huge and expanding investigation. Next up, we hear from the President of the United States in the brief. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, earlier today, I was briefed by my Homeland Security team on the events in Boston. We're continuing to monitor and respond to the situation as it unfolds, and I've directed the full resources of the federal government to help state and local authorities protect our people, increase security around the United States as necessary, and investigate what happened. The American people will say a prayer for Boston tonight, and Michelle and I send our deepest thoughts and prayers to the families of the victims in the wake of this senseless loss. We don't yet have all the answers. But we do know that multiple people have been wounded, some gravely, in explosions at the Boston Marathon. I've spoken to FBI Director Mueller and Secretary of Homeland Security Napolitano, and they're mobilizing the appropriate resources to investigate and to respond. I've updated leaders of Congress in both parties, and we reaffirm that on days like this there are no Republicans or Democrats. We are Americans united in concern for our fellow citizens. I've also spoken with Governor Patrick and Mayor Menino and made it clear that they have every single federal resource necessary to care for the victims and counsel the families. And above all, I made clear to them that all Americans stand with the people of Boston. Boston police, firefighters, and first responders, as well as the National Guard, responded heroically and continue to do so as we speak. It's a reminder that so many Americans serve and sacrifice on our behalf every single day without regard to their own safety in dangerous and difficult circumstances. And we salute all those who assisted in responding so quickly and professionally to this tragedy. We still do not know who did this or why. And people shouldn't jump to conclusions before we have all the facts. But make no mistake, we will get to the bottom of this and we will find out who did this? We'll find out why they did this. Any, respons uh, any responsible individuals, any responsible groups, will feel the full weight of justice. Today is a holiday in Massachusetts, Patriot's Day. It's a day that celebrates the free and fiercely independent spirit that this great American city of Boston has reflected from the earliest days of our nation. And it's a day that draws the world to Boston's streets in a spirit friendly competition. Boston is a tough and resilient town, so are its people. I'm supremely confident that Bostonians will pull together, take care of each other, and move forward as one proud city, and as they do, the American people will be with them every single step of the way. Uh, you should anticipate that as we get more information, uh, our teams will provide you briefings, we're still in the investigation stage at this point, uh, but I just want to reiterate, uh, we will find out who did this, and we will hold them accountable. Thank you very much. Chuck Todd, directly in front of where the president was just standing, uh, he emphasized, Chuck, what is uh, obvious, and that is how early on, we just heard this from Michael Leiter repeating that adage in law enforcement, first reports are wrong, president can't get out ahead of this and say too much too early and it's going to be a busy night for investigators. And to hear him say, we don't know this, we don't know who did this, um, and not even a hint about whether this was domestic or international, I think it says a lot about what we don't know uh, on this front. Uh, he made a point, not, he clearly made a point not to use the word terrorism uh, for now. That that's We know that some Boston officials uh, have used that. We know some folks on Capitol Hill and that. And, you know, sometimes everybody says, why do you parse certain words? Well, certain words do matter uh, at certain points in time. But it was interesting to hear the president say, whoever did this, whether a person or a group, will feel the full justice of this. So 
Uh, uh, probably the most striking thing, Ryan, is is how much information uh, we don't know and how the president went.